today I want to talk about the online encyclopedia of integer sequences. Uh, this is a website which has, it's just full, it's a database full of sequences. Uh, in fact, the, the, uh, the encyclopedia has been going for nearly 50 years. I mean, it started in book form and it's now grown into a big website. So it started off by uh, a guy called uh, Neil Sloan. And he, for his research, he, needed to, he just needed to tell some sequences apart and he wrote them down. And then he just started to collect his sequences together. They were on some punch cards. This is going back uh, quite a while now. And when the internet came along, that was a nice opportunity to, to put it online. And there are now 200,000 and more uh, examples of integer sequences. So there might be things like the prime numbers, the square numbers, uh, just sequences with special properties. The classic example, right? 1,729 is an important number in mathematics. It's part of mathematics folklore. Uh, 1,729 was the number that Ramanujan talked about when uh, Hardy asked him, you know, this is a boring number. Can you think of anything interesting about this number? And he said, 1,729 is the smallest number that can be written as the sum of two cubes in two different ways. It's equal to one cubed plus 12 cubed, and it's equal to nine cubed plus 10 cubed. So that's an interesting, that's interesting, isn't it? Now, in fact, there are other interesting things about 1,729. That's not the only interesting thing about it. And so it actually turns up in other sequences. I'm just going to pull out, this is the paper that I'm going to refer to. In here, it gives 1,729 as an example. So let's have a look. 1,729 is also the third Carmichael number. That means 1,729 divides x to the power 1,729 minus x for all x. So whatever value x is, it will divide that perfectly. It's the third Carmichael number. It's also the sixth pseudo prime number in base two, which means 1,729 divides two to the power 1,729 minus one, minus one. There you go. So that's called a pseudo prime. It's the 13th number that is one more than a cube. And here, the last example they've got here, I quite like this one, 1,729 is the total number of ways to express 33 as the sum of six integers. Again, all these different properties for 1,729. The point is, the more properties it has, the more sequences it appears in, and I guess the more interesting the number is. So the more often it appears in the encyclopedia of integers, the more interesting the numbers should be. So what the guys who wrote this paper have done is they counted how often each number appeared in the encyclopedia of integers, and they looked at what pattern that made. Now, try and think of what pattern you think that might make, but this is what they got. And you can see it's quite clearly a curve. It decreases, it's a curve. They found a little formula just to describe that curve. Uh, this curve, I'll write it on the paper, is 253 million divided by n to the power 1.33. So that's the equation of that curve. So these numbers are appearing far more often in the encyclopedia of integers. These turn up really often, and then the ones that are lower down here appear less often. But here's the interesting thing. You can quite clearly see in this curve a gap appearing. There is a quite clear space here. And you're at, the numbers are actually forming two bands. So there's a top band, which is filled with the popular numbers. They're turning up the most often. Then there's this huge gap. And then underneath, there's a bottom band there, which are your less popular numbers. They're the ordinary numbers that aren't turning up so often. And that's quite surprising. They could generate this sort of curve if they had a machine generating sequences and integers. This is exactly the sort of curve you would expect. So that wasn't a surprise. The surprising thing was they have this gap separating popular numbers from 
the less popular numbers. Now the ones in the top band are actually numbers like the primes. All the primes are there, in fact almost all the primes are in the top band. About 95% of square numbers are in the top band, in the popular band. Uh, there are numbers like, uh, numbers that are just perhaps one or plus one or minus one of a power of two. So that'd be two to the power n plus one or two to the power n minus one. Or there might be numbers such that have lots of factors, numbers that factorise into lots of little factors. These tend to appear in the top band. Other numbers that appear in the top band are ones that have special properties in base 10. So numbers like 1,111 are in the top band, 2,222, 3,333 all appear in the popular band of numbers. And so what they think is happening here is obviously this is cultural, that the popular numbers are the ones that the mathematicians like. These are the primes or numbers that are related to primes and they are, they are elevated above the ordinary numbers. And so they have a special place all by themselves and they're elevated by such an amount that you can see a quite clear space between them. We'd like to thank audible.com for their support of this video. And if you go to audible.com slash number file, you can actually download a free audiobook. Now there are loads of mathematics based books we could recommend, but today I thought I'd recommend something a bit different. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, which is an excellent book. I think it's probably targeted a slightly younger audience than me, but it's a book I really loved. And John's also a really great member of the YouTube community and makes awesome videos. The book's also just been made into a film, so you might want to get ahead of the game before the film comes out. So again, thanks to Audible for their support of our films. And if you want to check them out and maybe download that free book, audible.com slash number file. So in 2012, uh, the smallest number that didn't appear was uh, 13,794 didn't appear in the encyclopedia at all. Now I went and checked if that was still true and I'm afraid that it is no longer still true. I think there's about four sequences that that now appears in.